Do you feel that you don't have enough time during the day to do the things that are important for you? Things that you care about? Or have you been trying to bring back some structure and discipline in your life? Been trying to work out or maybe have some me time, but you haven't started yet because your days are too busy? There's a solution for that and it's called waking up early in the morning. In this week's video, I'll share with you my personal routine that I follow to help me wake up at 4.30 a.m. every single day and have a super productive day. What's up everyone, Hugo Mendes here. Welcome back to the Chaskis channel. Getting up early is probably the most important thing I do every day. Those few hours before everybody wakes up are precious for me. It's a time to reflect and learn. It's a time to practice gratitude. And it's also time to set your goals for the day. It's a time where I can truly focus on me. It's me time. So if you would like to feel more productive or find more time in your day, just follow these very simple steps. You'll be surprised how this simple routine can make your day much, much better and more productive. First, you need to figure out your why, your goal. What is the reason why you're willing to be up by 4.30, 5 in the morning? Is it because you're training for that particular race? Is it because you want to lose weight so you need more time to go out on that run? Is it because you want to learn a new skill? Figure out your why, your goal, write it down, put it on a visible place, it helps. Like I personally write down my why on a post-it note, I put it in the mirror in my bathroom, I look at it every single day. You gotta figure out how many hours of sleep do you need. For me, it's between seven and eight hours. So if I wanna be up by 4.30 in the morning, I usually go to bed at nine the day before. As simple as that, figure your hours out. You gotta have a routine, something that will tell your mind, yes, it's about time to go to bed. For me, 30 minutes before I go to bed, I play this particular song. Then I put my cell phone in airplane mode, brush my teeth, I floss my teeth, take a shower, usually with warm water. Then when I go to the bedroom, I'm sure that it's cool enough and that's dark enough. That is my night routine every single day. Personally, I do three alarms. If I get up at 4.30, I put 4.30, 433 and 435. Never, ever leave your alarm clock or your cell phone by your nightstand. It can be so tempting to hit the snooze button. Two things, one, leave your cell phone in a different room or two, just leave it across the bedroom. For instance, I have this armoire where I usually leave my cell phone. It's several feet from my bed. Every time the alarm goes off, get up, walk to the armoire and turn that off. Tell a friend or a loved one, or even better, do it with them. My wife and I, we always wake up at the same time, so we're always holding each other accountable. Sometimes I like to print out a calendar and I like to cross out every single day that I'm up at 4.30. It's nice to see the progress and it's nice to see that the calendar is filling each single day. What do you do when the alarm goes off? Instead of being annoyed because it's loud and all you're thinking about is that you want to go back to bed, do two things. One, remind yourself of your why. Why are you trying to achieve? Why are you doing this? And if that doesn't work, well, sometimes I do this. It's a five, four, three, two, one rule, five second rule by author and motivational speaker Mel Robbins. When the alarm goes off, I count to myself, five, four, three, two, one, and I don't think about it. I just get out of bed. You're up, right? But are you actually awake? There's two things that I usually do to help me just wake up. One is to do something physical and something quick. For me, 10 push-ups real quick works great. And the second thing that I do, I go to the bathroom and wash my face with cold water. Promise you, after doing those two things, you're really gonna start functioning. The last thing that you want to do is to start your day in a reactive way and all stressed out after reading the news or interacting on social media or even reading your email. Leave that for later. First, focus on you. Journaling is probably my favorite thing to do in my morning routine. It only takes me five minutes each day because I do this five minute journal where I answer three questions. Simple, but very powerful. The first one is, I am grateful for. Here, think about simple things that I'm grateful for that particular moment. For instance, one time I wrote, I'm grateful for my morning coffee. I'm grateful for the new iPhone that I just got, apparently. I'm grateful for quiet mornings with Amy, my wife. The second question is, what would make today great? I love this question. Here is my opportunity to think about the things that would make my day feel productive and also things that I have control over. For me, it's usually some kind of task related with Chasky, some kind of workout and some kind of chore. And the last thing to answer is daily affirmations. I am here is my opportunity to dream big and visualize how I want to build my life a year from now. 
five years from now. Think about the big things that you want to create and build. After I'm done journaling, I set my timer for 10 minutes, sit down, close my eyes, and I visualize having a kick-ass day. I think about the three things that I wrote down in my journal. Try to feel how success will look like. If you love coffee as much as I do, it's something that I'm really, really looking forward to. It definitely helps me to just wake up for real. You still have plenty of time before you have to go to work or go to school or start your day. When I think about how to spend my time, I think of three buckets. One is learn a new skill, take care of my body, and take care of my mind. Learn a new skill, for instance, sometimes I watch videos or I read books, taking care of my mind. I like to read. For instance, I'm reading a couple of books right now and I take notes. And if it's taking care of my body, well, I go out on a run. Again, doing things that will make yourself better remind myself one more time of my why, my goal, the things that I'm trying to achieve in the next 30 days and 90 days. And remind myself every day because sometimes it can be hard to just be focused on them. What about you? What do you think of this routine? Do you have your own routine? Do you think that waking up at 4.30 in the morning is too early or too late? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. Hit that subscribe button and also the bell to be notified the next time that I release new videos. And also, don't forget to follow Chesky's on Instagram. As always, thank you for watching. See you next week. Time to Chesky up.